Hi, I'm Lof Tupu, middle linebacker for Seattle, and I'm here to teach you how to track the back. Let's get started. The first thing in any play or drill you do is to get into a proper stance. As a linebacker, you want your feet about shoulder width apart. As you get that, you have your base. The next thing you want to do is bend your knees and lower your hips, putting all your weight on the balls of your feet. After that, you place your hands on your knees or your thigh boards with the palms up getting ready to strike. As a linebacker, you're essentially a running back without the ball. After you get into your stance, you want your vision on the running back. As soon as the running back takes a step, I'm going to shuffle with him one step. I see another step, I'm shuffling again. However many amount of steps he takes, you're doing that many shuffles. So if it's three, you shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Having your base under you, you can come back upfield for any cup there. Common misconception is the crossover step. Bringing your hips this way, and now they're not square to the line of scrimmage, losing all your power and all your base. Where if one was to just take the shuffle step, get sideways, now all his power is in his, in his hips, getting ready to explode on the running back. Now we're gonna talk about the fundamentals of tackling. If I were to do my shuffle, I'm getting ready, ready to redirect and come back on the running back at any moment that he comes. When he comes back, I get my weight down, my hips down, get ready to strike up through the ball carrier. At the moment of impact, put the head on the ball and come cross through him. Keep your head up, important to keep your head up so to avoid neck injury. You wrap tight. With that, you wanna start bringing your legs and driving through the ball carrier. As you take four or five steps, the ball carrier should be on the ground. You now know how to track the back. In doing so, remember the four steps to being a successful linebacker. The first one, it starts with a great stance. Two, make sure you use your shuffle and not the crossover. Three, upon hitting the target, get your head across and hips lower. And four, finishing off the tackle, make sure you take four to five hard steps through the target. Remember, be safe, keep it.